From time to time, arguments ensue on forums about balanced versus unbalanced connections on headphones. And we're not talking about the interconnect cables that connect the gear together, balance and unbalanced. So we're not going there on this one. Um, but strictly the headphone, from the amplifier to the headphone, what constitutes balanced versus unbalanced and does it really matter? Yeah. There's always fights on this one, and people really like balanced for one reason or another. But the real difference is just the cable. That's it. The yeah. driver, you can see we have some sort of kind of sort of models here, what's going on. Diagrams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But They're pretty um, basic. Unblock your speaker. About it's, yeah. it's just a driver. Go forward. The difference is how they connect to the amplifier. So on the single-ended, the... Basically, it's just one lead is driven, and on a balance, both leads are driven. It doesn't really make a big difference to the headphone. There's nothing special about the headphone that makes it balanced or unbalanced. It's just a connector, a cable, how it connects to the well, I think that's a confusion because people are confusing the, the balanced and unbalanced headphone cables yep. with balanced and unbalanced amplifiers. Now, mm -hmm. that might make a difference. Well, yeah. If you have a balanced amplifier versus an unbalanced amplifier, it's possible um, they, well, first of all, they're going to sound different because it's two different amplifiers, right? And all amplifiers sound different. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to tell people that you might be uh, exaggerating a smidgen on that one. I know that. I guess. <laughs> well, they would. Yeah, they can. Yes, yeah. Of well, course. there's all kinds of reasons. Okay, let's just let's. There's all kinds of reasons why a balanced by two amplifiers might sound different. Yeah. Especially if they have two completely different connection schemes coming from whatever the source is. Well, you know. see, that's the, other, that's the other wild card on the amp end, though, is um, things could have balanced connectors and not be balanced. So that yeah, you, don't right. even, you can't just look at the connector and be like, well, this is a balanced amp. It's complicated. So. But that's why we're not going to go there. Yeah, right. right. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> the whole summary, more just or less, headphone. is people always act like the headphone being balanced is a vastly superior thing. But all headphones are intrinsically balanced. You right. could design a headphone to not be compatible with a balanced cable, but that doesn't really matter unless you have to use it with a balanced amplifier. Well, by intrinsically, what that means is a headphone has two speakers, one on the left, one on the right. Each speaker has two wires going to it. You got to have two wires. You can't have one. Mm. Otherwise, you get no sound. So yeah. two wires on the left, two on the right. Now, now, what they do with those two wires on each side decides whether you're going out toward the amp, decides whether or not you're balanced or unbalanced. Yeah. And it's really the cable. It's primarily the cable design, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and like it, the connector and the headphone and stuff like that. Sometimes yeah. they got cables connecting one side to the other. Mm -hmm. So there's only one cable and connector. Let's try to narrow this down by the plug on the end of the cable because it might help people understand. When you're looking at the plug at the end of the cable, you hold it up, right? Some have, you look at the, count the rings. And why rings, mm -hmm. I say, if you look, there's like, usually there's black spacers between the metallic sections, mm -hmm. you know. And every black spacer is separating one one wire from the next to the next. So you look at, for example, these two connectors you're looking at here on the screen. It's a quarter inch connector. It has three separate, obvious separate areas where you can connect a wire to. That means it can only handle three wires. That's it. That's all it's got going for it. You could solder 100 wires to <laughs> well, the connector. You could, yeah. But it's got three that plug into the amp. So that's, your, that's single ended. You have a ground, one's ground, right, which is, they call it, I don't know, sleeve. Mm. The ground lead is common to left and right. So it shares, the left and right speakers share one wire, and now you have a set of two other leads, one for the left, one for the right, and that's it. So three. So that could, that connector type can never be balanced because in order to be balanced, how many wires we need? Oh, <laughs> More <four>. than three. <laughs> four, at least four. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, bottom line is just looking at the plug can tell you if you're running unbalanced or balanced because if you have it three or under, it's not balanced, right? Stereo, and if you have four or more, you're good yep. to go. Typically, balance is four, but the 4.4 millimeter Pentacon connector does have five. Mm -hmm. It's just a left, right, positive, negative, and a ground. You don't really need the ground for the headphone, but in some designs, it's potentially useful. So it's nice to have it on the connector, um, but it doesn't necessarily need to get used. Well, that's why you see that 4.4 being used a lot nowadays. Mm -hmm. Very compatible. It's very useful. Does it all. Yes. And it's portable. It's not a huge connector. It's mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. size for portable gear. And more durable than 2.5. Yeah. And easier to, s to connect all those wires to, too. Especially too. Yeah. making it is easier. Yeah, especially with these like fancy schmancy aftermarket cables that yeah. some of us know and sell and make. And 
It's difficult to remember when Aston Kern was doing the two and a half millimeter balance, and that tiny little connector was called upon to put four plus wires into. Yep. Nightmare. I mean, it's just. <laughs> I mean, in, in the cable making world, it's extremely difficult to get anything in that little connector as it is. You know, you're especially like strain relieving and stuff. Yeah, right. Just making it proper so it holds up in the field is difficult unless it's like molded onto a very tiny wires. You know. Anyway, mm-hmm. bottom line is it's nice that the, the, the staple of connectors were that most companies are running nowadays the four point four millimeter for balanced, the quarter inch you see, and a lot of tube gear and stuff like that, and you see it in portable too. And, four uh, pin XLR. Four pin XLR is very sturdy. Very yep. sturdy. Yeah, that that comes from the pro world. The balance connectors you can beat that connector against the wall. And it is hurt. made for that. You're not really hurting anything. It's just a solid metal cha- connector. It's, it'll it'll take it. So you could step on it, run it over with a jeep. Uh-huh. <laughs> that connector will be fine. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Anyway. Yeah. I hope we kind of narrowed it down. Now basically, basically, bottom line is that balanced and unbalanced going to a headphone is probably not going to make a big difference in terms of the sound it's more about the amplification Mm. yep just changes what the amp you could plug it into and the cable compatibility and things like this headphone it doesn't really matter and sonically it probably doesn't make any difference uh depending on the amp you plug it into which we got other videos talking about that yeah but yes i i kind of forgot though speaking of this amp in particular it makes it very simple alex it only has one input that's unbalanced and only an output that's unbalanced. Alex Cavelli? Yeah. This is Very one of his simple. earlier designs. I forgot how simple it is. But yeah, it's yeah. pretty old. Yes, it has a pair of RCAs coming in. That's it. One set. And two quarter-inch jacks coming out. This is single-ended, by yeah. the way. This is not balanced. <laughs> it, well, it doesn't fool you with any balanced possibilities. Yeah. Some amps get pretty complicated with 100 connectors in and out, and then it's confusing. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you need selector switches, and people are like, oh, I don't hear any audio. Wrong thing. You know, so this is very simple. Or amps can have balanced connections in the front, but it's not really balanced. Uh, <laughs> that's the confusing part. Right? Yeah, it's, the connector's there for convenience because right. a lot of people run right. balanced connectors, so it's so like, you don't well, need to change. The if cable. you're going to have an amp that's this size, yeah. you might as well put all the connectors on it because what the hell, right? Mm-hmm. You don't have to get a different cable. Well, then you got the combo jacks that are balanced and single ended. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. a whole. It does get confusing. Yeah. So pick a connector you like and use it because right. it probably doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, so yeah. what connector are you picking? I like 4.4 on everything, but it's currently not there. I think it's the right connector. For desktop, there's something a little satisfying about the 4-pin XLR. It really yeah. snaps in nice. It's really right. yeah. sturdy. I you got it. a I thick agree. cable. It's great. 4-pins for desktops are great. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. But if you use the headphone on the go, mm-hmm. having a 4.4 cable for your headphone, you could plug it in at home. You could plug it in on a portable, whatever. So yeah. it's a good option for yeah, that. Yeah, the 4-pin gets a little unwieldy mobile. Heavy. It's been done, but it's... But now a lot of desktop amps are putting a 4.4 on it on the front panel, too. Mm-hmm. That way you only need one cable on your headphone. You could also get the little 4-pin XLR adapter right. to the 4.4. True. So right. you could have that in your app at home, and you could use one cable yeah. on the go. They make some nice adapt. ones. Yeah, we use them all the time, actually. A 4.4-millimeter jack on the back of the connector, mm-hmm. and then a four, on a 4-pin four connector. So it's one solid connector. Mm-hmm. And basically, it, basically it's converting your amplifier's 4-pin to a 4.4 jack. Millimeter jack. Yeah, electrically, it's basically the same thing, mm-hmm. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but don't go the other way. That's where people <laughs> get confused. You can't, you can't, you can't take a balanced amplifier's output and unbalance it. That's a mm-hmm. bad thing to do. Mm-hmm. Well, some amps tolerate it, but it needs <laughs> well, to be designed to handle. You that. can't guarantee it'll yeah. tolerate. Right, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you want to avoid that. Smoke could ensue. Yeah. It could. Yeah. Yeah. So never take an amplifier that's balanced and try to unbalance it. Well, just like you can't take an unbalanced amplifier and balance it. You could plug a balanced connector in, but right. it doesn't make it balanced. Right. Mm. But another one of those layers of confusion. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can see why you can get easily confused. There's a lot of, a lot of moving parts here. Yeah. I know I am just thinking about it. Yeah. I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions on balance and unbalance, call us or email us because mm-hmm. we can explain it further because it's confusing sometimes. But mm-hmm. you know, if you're not sure what cable to choose, Again, call us or email us because we can narrow that down. They could leave a comment, too. Yeah. Well, but mainly what we're going to ask you is what amplifier are you going to connect it to? Ah. That pretty much answers the question. We can, from there, yeah. tell you what cable you're going to need because there's your choices. Mm-hmm. How many? What kind of plug does it have on the amplifier? Well, okay. Let's pick the best plug. Well, especially if you're running something like this. You only have one option. Yeah. Well, see, that's easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not, yes. No confusion there. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Take care.